What up, what up? It is your boy BQ. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be cutting this video here, this review up into several segments, just like we're watching Wrestle House. This isn't something I expect to do on a weekly basis, but it was the first um, episode of Wrestle House, which is basically a uh, reality show that, you know, we have on Impact Wrestling. So, you know, I got kind of tipped off about a week or so ago that uh, kind of what this show is going to be about, you know, combining... Um, MTV real world or whatever with wrestling, you know? And uh, I think that a lot of the time impact when they try to do stuff outside of the box, it's either one of the two, it's either pretty creative or it's just, um, I shouldn't say outside the box, but I'm just saying in, in general, the way they deliver wrestling, it's usually something very creative or something so wrestling based, but they don't find that, you know, that common ground that we kind of got with the first uh, final deletion. So what I had told someone was, you know, before this, we started watching this, I said, you know, think of MTV real world meets final deletion. You know, um, obviously it's a little more comical, but uh, once I knew kind of what this was about and knew that there was gonna be a little mini feuds and they were gonna settle things in a ring, I thought, hey, maybe this could be kind of interesting. Now, I would love to see something like this on YouTube because it's starving for original content starving and I think it could do better than the 15,000 views Aftershock does but neither here nor there this starts off with you know and let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Wrestle House you know it's obviously super cheesy super corny and if I'm a first time Impact Wrestling viewer you know if I wasn't a wrestling fan if I was a casual I think I would find a lot of interest in this if i was that nxt fan that's like i'm gonna give impact a shot this week and you probably see this you're like what is this but if we could let our hair down a little bit i think this was something you know something enjoyable something fun something different now it started off with the group inside the house so they give us a little teaser last week which i actually thought was super funny when they talked about <laughs> when rosemary said um the whole pinch of rosemary thing and and uh you know johnny bravo said he hope his extra vir virgin olive olive oil and uh rosemary turned around that yes like i actually thought that was hilarious so and then you know last episode we got an idea of what this group was going to be rosemary taya kylie ray um triple xl alicia crazy steve Susie, the deaners uh johnny bravo crazy steve and then we got Tommy Dreamer as the host of this whole thing, which I'm okay with. You know, I'm always talking about, oh, too much Tommy Dreamer, but this works for him. If you guys remember a couple months ago, they did the uh, wrestler's core with the Joey Ryan, everything, you know, Tommy Dreamer in that role was excellent. So in a role like this as a, as a host and, you know, someone who really knows how to work the camera and everything, I think it was um, a very good choice. Now the humor, very, uh, very cheesy, very corny, but you know, to me, again, if you're just letting your hair down a little bit, just enjoying it, um, I thought it was pretty funny. So they did have the whole reality show, whole 80 sitcom type of opening, which I thought they did a good job with. And then we had a little argument between the Deaners and Triple XL. So I was thinking this was going to lead to the first, you know, match or, you know, <laughs> that's not what it was. It had, you know, Kylie Ray is actually, uh, excellent for this but um you know she's she's got the right acting chops and the right you know comedy corny gene to her so it, it, it works out really good but um you know they get into argument and you know they're talking about social distance thing and you know johnny swinger who actually think works in this as well talked about them doing a fuji bow <laughs> you know uh, i don't know what they were arguing over i felt like that kind of came out of nowhere but if you guys, you know, didn't get a chance to catch this on Impact because you you don't watch it live, you know, I I, I, I found it funny. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Just because it was so different, I can always appreciate something really really different. Tommy Dreamer said everyone was handpicked there and that the winner was gonna get a million dollars. Everyone was excited and celebrating and happy, and that wasn't wasn't what this was about. They're kind of insinuating it's about Rosemary banging Johnny Bravo you know, trying to take his uh, virginity. So 
you know, even though it's it's corny, I don't think I think everyone's just playing their role well, you know what I mean? And we had a segment where everyone was claiming their room, so I, I thought Johnny Swinger was was pretty funny in that. And um, you know, I think they said there were six rooms for however many people were there, so obviously they got a bunk up. Alicia Edwards is gonna sleep on the sofa. So um uh what the hell's his name from Triple XL? AC Romero, him and Crazy Steve both wanted to use the ring as a bed, which led to them having a little mini feud and having a little mini match. Kylie Ray was the, re <laughs> was the referee. Um, and AC Romero won, so he gets to keep the ring as a bed. If I know Impact, I'm pretty sure that I do. They're going to plaster this all over Facebook and Twitter. Oh, maybe over use Instagram. Remember they did that for the parody show they did in November for Thanksgiving instead of a Thanksgiving episode. And that particular parody I thought was really bad, but they kept playing it. They kept playing it. They kept posting. And <laughs> I can see that happening with this show. I'm watching it here as we, as I'm speaking to you guys, I can see it happening um, on social media and I don't think it's going to be super well received, but I, I do think this is something that if you're a, a casual fan casual viewer and you're watching or you you guys I, i'm curious to know if you guys who are you know obviously impact fans out there and maybe your girlfriend wife boyfriend husband whatever is watching the show with you and they're not really a fan you know what it what it what do they think of this you know i would think if i showed this to my girlfriend later she would find uh entertainment in it so i'm curious to, you know i'm curious for those of you in that situation what they think you know, and I did forget to talk about the Abyss segment earlier when uh, Taya opened the door because, um, you know, just to go back to the beginning of this, you know, they're all locked in a house. And at first, you know, they thought it was Taya's house and it turns out it is Johnny, um, excuse me, not Johnny, but Tommy Dreamer's rental property. Um, so after everything that happened there, it goes to a segment where the Deaners are there. Well, actually, what was uh, it? was a... Uh, no, Johnny, Johnny uh, Swinger was letting Crazy Steve know, sorry that he lost the match, and he was trying to get him to bunk up with him. I don't know if he's trying to bunk up with him or the monkey or what's going on, so that's a real weird situation. Then it shows the Deaner sleeping arrangement. Cody Deaner sleeping on the floor. Jake is sleeping in the bed, and Jake is upset because Cody's snoring. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just the craziest, corniest shit you've ever seen in your life. And then, you know, the camera pans out and Tommy Dreamer is sleeping in the bed with cousin Jake so you know why Cody and Jake just aren't sharing the bed together to be, <laughs> to begin with I don't really know I guess it's neither, neither here nor there because it's about a uh, comfortable sleep and not snoring so then Tommy Dreamer says it's match time but first thing in the morning because they want to go to sleep so we get <laughs> just crazy as shit so then we get Cody Dina versus cousin Jake and Alicia Edwards, uh, love her hair, by the way. Oh my gosh, great look for it. Alicia Edwards is the referee for this one. The funny thing is with these matches so far, they even they they get just a little bit, just enough time to where it's not um, you know, not too phoned in. So we get Cody Diener versus Cousin Jake. Cousin Jake ends up winning this thing. Alicia says she doesn't, she doesn't know which Diener he is, uh, but he is the winner. And then uh, it takes us to. Cody Diener saying, okay, I guess this will do when he steps outside and it's a tour bus. But let me know what you guys thought of Wrestle House. Uh, just wanted to talk about this first episode here. It's not a weekly thing I'm going to do. Just wanted to chat about it. Got a chance to watch Impact Live tonight, which I don't usually get to do. So uh, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.